Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Rami's Retro. We are at 43rd Avenue and Thunderbird Goodwill today. It's been a while since we've been here. I can't even remember the last time. So I'm very excited to get inside and see what we've got. It is a busy Saturday, so hopefully it's not too crazy inside. Uh, but let's uh, cross our fingers that we find some fantastic stuff. Let's get started. Well, the music's loud in here and I'm right under the speaker. So we're gonna move quick in this first section and see what we've got. It's interesting, made in Japan, 349. Fun little guy, little white figurine, 349. He looks like he's got something important to say. His nose is broken though. Oh, she's pretty, but she's missing her hand, her arm. That's too bad. And these guys are all more little nativity figures. Gosh, we found so many the other day. Now here's a whole nother set. Of course, no Jesus. Everybody else looks to be there. The shepherd and everything, Joseph, wise men, but no. There's a bossin. I've never seen one with a dog before. It's got a big giant mess on the back there, but it's on the back. I mean, you can't see it when it's up on the wall. I don't know, what should we do? Eh, it's got a pretty big chip on the front there too. I think we're gonna leave it for 549, that's too bad. I don't think I've ever seen one though before with a, um, with a puppy with the little man. That's interesting, painted, little plate. No price on that. And lots of handmade by children, little figures or something there. So we'll pass on those guys. Oh, what's that? All about the Benjamins. <laughs> Cute. It's a little bank. And some wood wood figures. Those are interesting. Four forty nine. Um, they say something. I think monkey pod wood on the bottom. But those are really cool. Yeah, they got a little sticker there. Four forty nine each on those guys. Something I probably would typically pick up, but I'm gonna pass this time around. He's really fun too. I love my owls, $7.49 on that. It's a contemporary piece though, but it is pretty. And then what do we have here in this last section? Some pretty little cactus, pottery cactus. There's a fun little glass pumpkin full of flowers. Nothing terribly old though here in this section some broken bunnies that's too bad turtle bookends totally busted this anniversary clock is pretty for 1449 all right well that's it in this aisle <clears throat> okay kitchen stuff Let's see if there's anything here for us teapots and things not seeing anything that looks like it might have some age to it but it's also got some chips, so I think we're gonna leave it behind. Bloom something, I think it said. Pretty bowl. It's kind of a American themed little pot there, 749, very heavy. That's a cute little pitcher and, and it's little matching base there. I like that, 549. not seeing too much though kids the shelves are kind of uh, empty too especially for a saturday that's sort of surprising clear glass fancy glass not seeing too much here though for us really all just a lot of basic 99 cent stuff stella artois princess there is a little um kind of hand-blown swirl sort of guy here. That's pretty, 99 cents on that. It looks like there is two of them. Huh, that is pretty. Maybe Pier 1, it might be. I do like that. I'll think about it. Um, since there's two, that's not so bad. Here's a similar design, but in a margarita glass. Two is good, one is not so great. Two, four, six, those are good numbers. <laughs> um, nothing here, all just basic glass. 
And then we're sliding into mugs, it looks like. So let's see if there's any good coffee mugs to be had. It's a little turkey, tag, uh, opal house, cookies. Something says New York there. That is not Starbucks though. Oh, what's that? It's in another language. Two forty-nine. dollars is pretty. I do like the glaze on that. It's just the one though. I think I'm gonna leave it behind. Uh, yep, no Starbucks. It's always coffee time. Well, I mean, I like coffee. I know not everybody does, but oh dear, don't break. 149 Opal House. Okay. Well, nothing in the mugs today. Okay, well let's see what we've got going on in wood today. It's a fun little plate. What is that? Cypress grease. I like that. 349. It's kind of pretty. It's in decent shape too. I don't know. I don't know how how collectible it would be. I like it, but that doesn't mean everybody's gonna like it. Um, it's really looking like we're probably gonna leave today with nothing, you guys, which is uh, remarkable to me. But it also means we're gonna need to go somewhere else <laughs> because it hurts my heart when I don't buy anything especially on a trip with you guys if i was just by myself that would be one thing and of course i could just shut off the camera and not not post this video but once we've kind of been through a couple aisles that's hard to do i feel like we're invested in each other's time here i like these little houses those are kind of cool um they don't say what houses they are though they're just houses For 249 each they do have some age to them but i think i'm gonna leave them behind what do we have under here? Nothing. No, there's a little puppy. What is this puppy dog? He's cute. Happy memories make warm companions. Huh? And then, oh, that's cool. I do like that. Oh my God. It's got a big burn or something there. That's too bad. $7.49. Otherwise, I would totally pick that up. That's a really cool 70s little box. So that's too bad. Clocks, another anniversary clock. All right, well, oh, that's fun. Oh, I saw one of these the other day that wasn't in too bad shape and it had a little drawer like that too. 549 they want for this. Um, I've already got like a little dresser caddy that I haven't listed yet. And I know that they can be um, pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that guy behind. And here's a little jewelry chest. Lots of room for your earrings. Um, $9.49 on this guy. He's got some pretty significant scratches on him. But he's nice. I think I'm going to leave him behind though too. He's he's a big in and I don't want to ship him. So there are a couple more aisles to look through. Um, I'm going to check those out really quick. And I will get with you if there's anything fun. Otherwise we might head out to another Goodwill check out art really quick before we swing out of here and see if there's anything good. It's a pretty small space. I like those. Those kind of look like little postcards that they framed. $4.49. They're pretty. I like them. But we're looking for really fantastic original art or signed prints. And we are not finding that. What's this? No. No. Well, okay. Then I guess we're going to go ahead and head on out. Bye, everybody. Oh, bye. <laughs> well, we haven't been here in a long time, so I decided we'd check out Savers. If for no other reason to just laugh at their prices. <laughs> Okie dokie, I see a little uh, picture back here or... Stein or something. Let's check that out first. $6.99. Holland mold. It's nice. It's actually not in bad shape. Um, that's really cute. And you know, $6.99 actually isn't a terrible price on this. 
I don't know that it's got a ton of resale value, but it is from 1972 and in decent shape. So we'll think about it. How does that sound? We will think about it. North Dakota. Oh, man. These look kind of fun. Got cloisonne, $3.99. What's this? Baseball, $5.99. Little paperweight with a rose inside. Very lightweight, it's plastic. All kinds of knickknacks. Knickknacky things. He's broken. An elephant, I think he was, but he doesn't have his tusk anymore. Made in China. It's not Swarovski or anything. It's a little horsey head. $2.99. I like that. That's pretty. It actually doesn't have any damage or anything. What's this little onyx? $4.99. The neck has been broken off, though, and replaced. Glued back on. So that's not going to work for us. The shelves are so full, I kind of feel like I'm missing things. I don't want to miss anything. Um, but nope, doesn't look like there's anything too fabulous. $3.99 on the flowers, they're broken. Okay, well, nothing yet. Let's keep rolling. This little frog, I can't believe I passed by him. Look at how cute he is. This little bobblehead frog. Very, very cute. Little bunnies back here. Those bunnies are cute. They're $5.99. Resin bunnies. Look up, look up. I do like these camels. Those are kind of neat. Um, Byron mold. But they are $7.99 each. So I'm going to have to leave those guys behind for $7.99. Oh, I like these too. I actually have these. $10.99. That's, uh, there we go with the crazy prices. $2.99 for him. He's kind of fun. He's, what is he doing? He's like smoking a little hookah or something there, huh? What is he, just a little figurine? I guess so. He's sort of neat. <laughs> like him. The Home Depot guy. He's funny. Oh, here's one of those little holy water holders. I like that. It's kind of made of like a resin sort of material. $5.99. Any breaks or anything on that? I think that might be something we will grab for $5.99. I can't believe it. We're going to buy something from Savers. With the Olympics coming up, these are kind of neat. Look at that. They're passing the torch. $6.99. Um, it looks like bronze, but it's like a um, like a uh, composite material. It says something, some kind of signature, 1983 on there. I might have to look these up. There's a few of them, but I really love this one. Um, so stand by. Let me see what these are all about. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pick up these guys um, that I really liked to, to begin with. Um, for $7, I can probably sell it for maybe $27 or maybe even a little bit more. This one, there was one sold for $16. So for $7, there's not enough profit there. I really like this discus thrower. Um, there is one listed for about $16, bucks, but none sold. Um, and I think there's also one listed for like 50 something dollars. So, I mean, the prices are all over the place. Didn't find any of these girls. She's very pretty, a little gymnast. Um, and I didn't find any of the swimmers at all. So I am kind of, I don't know, on the fence about those two. None listed, none sold. There's a lot of people out there that like gymnastics. And there's a lot of people out there that like swimming. They're into those sports. And I think these would be a fun collectible for them. And um, looks like it's Marcel Jovine um, from 1983. And they're in really good condition. And then the runner back there, he's missing the other little side of his ribbon here. It's like a piece of metal that comes out of his chest. And it makes it look like he's going through the finish line. Um, there was one sold of him for about 15, 16 bucks. But... It was complete, and this one's incomplete. So I think out of these guys that are left, I don't know. I'm sort of feeling the girl, the gymnast girl. So I think I might grab her. 
she's got all her fingers and I think I'm gonna leave the swimmer and I'm gonna leave the discus guy but I'm gonna grab these two and take a chance and see what happens let's keep rolling um, no bow on the um, little figurine with the cello that's a fun little mask has some wear to it it's not authentic it's a reproduction type of thing but very cute all the same very cool looking I'm not seeing anything back there cute little bell back there some precious moments $4.99 on the precious moments oops here's a little fun little fairy bell $4.99 oh what's this little figurine back here I don't know how I could push him out of the way and not at least look at him for a second he's the state puffed marshmallow man how cute is that anyways what's this $4.99 fun little mache girl with her baby behind her is that what that's supposed to be she's got her child wrapped up behind her i guess so all right i think we'll pass on that though and looks like that's it for figurines all right wait a minute what's this oh it's a girl with a big dress, $5.99, and her little Barbie face. Hey! <laughs> we don't need that. So, a little turtle. Oh, turtles, frogs, welcome to my garden. Okay, then we start rolling into plates. And these are like hardcore collector plates. These really don't uh, do very much. They don't sell for very much. I'm sure that there are some that are collectible, but I don't know exactly which kind or which ones those are. Um, I do like my souvenir plates. I do like my Vernon Kilns plates, which this looks like it could be one. It sure is Vernon Kilns. Will Rogers, but they want $7.99 for it. Ouch. Now, I'm going to look it up and see what the value is for it, but at $7.99, I don't know. That's a little steep. And then dollies. We don't... Yep. Um, there's quite a few listed from $12 to $60 and none sold. So we are not going to pick up the Will Rogers. Sorry, Will, have to leave you behind. <laughs> okay, that was only the first aisle, you guys. So let's keep rolling. Like these little cast iron chickens, roosters. They're $5.99 each. Got a lot of paint loss, but that makes them look kind of fun. They're also very dirty, yuck. Um, I think we're gonna leave them behind for six bucks. Anything else here? $5.99 for the Apple Bell. That's missing its top. $4.99. So absolutely no for those guys. The incense burner would have been nice if it had its had its top piece. Um, but not not broken. It's broken. $3.99 country home. Those are flash painted. You can see it's coming off right there. I'm really trying to pay attention in glass so that the good pieces of glass jump out at me because currently they do not. Um, I'm pretty good with pottery and things like that, but um, hi everybody, but I am just terrible at glass and I want, I want to get better. I think it's just something that you either have or you don't. Um, but I think you can improve. <laughs> if you've got the knack for seeing some things, you can definitely work on that to be able to see other things. This is nice. It's got a little signature on it. Candle holder, sand art, $4.99. Well, it's not sand art, but it's sand. I think they call it sand, uh, sandstone or something like that. But it's like kind of rough, gritty, sandy. All right, nothing in candles. Their wood department is typically much nicer than Goodwill. That's a pretty California. Um, I've never seen one that's colored like that before. $6.99 for that bamboo, um, what's that called? Cutting board. I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of talking today at work. Uh, we had a big visit um, at my second job from some corporate people. And um, so it was a very busy day of lots of talking 
to people and customers and all the things and I am tired. Naughty Lady Wood Products 1973 7.99. Ouch. It is cute, but it is not 7.99 cute. Dad's Brew. It's a new piece. A man's home, maybe his castle, but this one does not come with servants. Ooh, dang. Well, that wouldn't be a very good Father's Day gift, would it? Here's one of these fun little collapsible baskets. I know Crazy Lamp Lady picked one of these up a couple weeks ago, and she'll probably wind up selling it for $100. And I bet if I got it, I wouldn't be able to offload it for five bucks. All right, not seeing anything else here in wood. Well, there's a little bit more wood on the other side of this big giant column that holds the building up. Um, I do like this, but it's broken down here at the bottom. Um, that bottom drawer is busted, but I've seen these before with the little insides that swirl around. I like those. And usually these are in pretty rough shape, but these are actually really good. These little plastic window parts, $12.99 on that guy. That's not too bad, actually. $4.99. Live more, worry less. Something we all need to do, for sure. I'm a pretty big worrier myself. This little needle point back here. What does it say? Love is the recipe of life. Cute. Okay. Nothing else in this aisle. I've got some tins and things here on the end, it looks like. These are another thing that can be really collectible. I know that the recipe boxes typically can do really well when they're old and kind of retro looking. This one's just a little paper box, but the tin ones that are vintage um, and, and fun, have fun prints and stuff on them can do really well. Um, and anything from England, I know, can do really well. But it looks like these are all pretty contemporary um, pieces, Pioneer Woman. So nothing there for us. And then around the corner here, it looks like we've got office-y stuff. Not seeing anything too fabulous in office-y stuff. We still have a globe that we need to try to get rid of. We don't need to even look at that one. Although I did see it was $12.99, which isn't a bad price. Oh, here's another one. Wow, this one's really pretty. Oh my gosh. It's got a really pretty brass base, $14.99 on that. I don't think it's too old though. Yeah, see, that one's got Yugoslavia all broken up into its different parts, so this one is not, not very old. They also do end caps here, so I don't think that's brass. Is that brass? No. No, it's ceramic that's painted to look like brass for $8.99. That cat is kind of fun. What's that? $3.99, made in Indonesia. It's a little cat candle holder. Look at his face. <laughs> he's got some damage to him, but he's still really cute. Um, fishy. Plastic fishy. $4.99. Made in China. Okay, I'm going to leave the plastic fishy. Um, we've got fake plants. Fake plants. Going to pass on the fake plants. Don't see any cool planters or anything down there with them. I know I was advised and reminded to make sure to look for those. This is very true. Sometimes the crazy fake plants will be in fabulous little containers or baskets. So make sure that you do take a, take a good look at them. But these are all pretty, pretty plain. And mostly just the flower parts and not anything in baskets or anything in planters. So that's a planter, but it's got a bunch of holes in it. So how are you supposed to keep the dirt in there? I guess if you put it in a bag or if it was in a different pot. There's a hippopotamus. What's this guy? That's kind of cute. $4.99, huh? I like that. It's made of that kind of weird, I don't know what material this is. Um, I've got a little mo moccasin that's kind of made of it. I almost just dropped him. Um, he's cute. I do like him. $4.99, huh? Oh, there's another one back here. What's this? He's got a friend. What is his friend? Like a little bear. Yeah, that says honey. Look, it's a honey pot. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Well, he's $5.49. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave both of those cute little guys behind. 
we we don't need them. That's interesting. It's that sandy kind of stuff again. That's 549. I like that. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking about how much stuff I have and how much stuff I have to list still. And unless it's just really fabulous, I don't I don't want to pick things up that I think are going to sit and sit and sit or that I'm not super excited about getting cleaned up and listed. That's the other problem. Effluence. They got a big break on their ear there and they're kind of a weird wood. I don't know, it's not quality. You just, you know when you touch it. Here's a little mushroom. Um, this is from another country. Looks like it's Czechoslovakian or Russian or something. 199, 199? Really? Okay, well, for $1.99, I can't hardly say no to this. It's got a little scratch right there, but it's $1.99. I mean, that's crazy talk. What's this cute little guy? He's from Mexico, $3.99. I like him. He's small enough. Mexico, lead free, $3.99. I really like the green. I love green. I think I'm going to grab him, too. And then $2.99 on these little guys. How many little babies are in there? Huh. That might be kind of a cool piece for $2.99. Museum of Fine Arts. Let's open this up and see what it looks like with all the babies out of it. Okay. They're pretty cute. I think that's I think that's worth $2.99 for those Egyptian Russian dolls. <laughs> I also saw this fabulous studio pottery mug. The colors on this are just magnificent. I love the purple and blue and brown and it's just too pretty. So for $2.99, I'm gonna grab that also. And then here we are in frames, which we really don't need. Um, we really don't even need to look at them, but they're all here, set up all pretty and nice for us. And maybe if something crazy, fantastic jumps out at us, you know, we need to be prepared for that. But ain't looking like it. And a little bit of baskets. Um, but I'm not seeing anything too good in the baskets either. So let's head over to plates and things. Okay, sugar creamer. Um, that's got some age to it. I've got something like this that used to be my mom's, $5.99. Here's a little bowl that kind of goes with. I like that, cobalt, $5.99. I don't know that it's I don't know. Fabulous, though. It's just some pretty glass. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest. That holds your tacos. I've never seen a cowboy hat taco holder before. It's got chips all over it. Otherwise, that might be something I would pick up. That is pretty cute. This is kind of older. has some age to it. Noritake Sunny Side. Okay. Oh, what's this little guy back here? He's a part of a set. $1.99 on him. USA Pottery. Um, these are kind of fun. I like those. I think Will picked up a set of these um, not too long ago. It's $5.99 for four. I'm not sure that these are exactly the ones that he got, but... If they had some sort of maker's mark or something on them, I might consider it, but just plain like that, I think I'm going to leave them behind. It's a fun little gravy boat, too. It's attached to the underplate for $4.99, WCL. Oh, that little margarita set, that's kind of cool, $12.99 for the set. That's a decent price. This is uh, all just regular glass, it looks like. Cut glass, I don't see any crystal. And this is all like bakeware and stuff, so nothing for us here. There's a couple cute cookie jars up here. She's very cute, she looks like she got in trouble. She was eating something she shouldn't. $10.99, who makes this bear? Mother Goose by Shafford, 1986. 
I don't know. Very cute. Um, cookie jars can be kind of a good pickup. They can be collectible. I might have to look that guy up and see what the story is on her. Grandma is very cute, but she does not have her lid. Um, if she came with one, I don't know, maybe she's just a utensil crock or something for $4.99. She is very cute. The glaze on her is nice. I kind of like that for $4.99. That's a really cute little utensil, utensil crock. I'm going to grab her. Um, if she's not worth anything, I might just keep her. Because I always need extra spots to put utensils and things. Kitchen things, kitchen things. 549, lots of yuck and tarnish and stuff on that. Some of it I don't think would come off. Okay, and then this is more like plastic kitchen stuff. Well, we're definitely not gonna buy any of that. Um, let's swing around the corner. So I just realized, after looking at this again, this is little Miss Muffet sitting on her tuffet eating her curds and whey and along came a spider and this one didn't just sit beside her it sat right damn on her and uh she looks frightened because of it i'm gonna grab this i really like it for 10.99 i think i think i'm gonna get this cookie jar okay and now in glass we are those are pretty i think they're flash painted too but they're still in decent shape for 8.49 for the four of them that's pretty. I'm sure that's got some age to it. Um, there's several of these. 849 times 6. Let me put these back where they go with the others. Not seeing anything else for us in glass, though. Those have a fun little kind of 80s design to them. Don't see any maker's mark on those. Here's some taller glasses to go with those other shorter ones. And then we're kind of sliding into the mugs here and they merchandise their mugs upright. So sometimes it's easier to find cool stuff, sometimes not as easy. Talented, grateful, unstoppable, cute. Okay, well, not seen any good mugs. Ugh. It's hard to get down to the bottom after working all day. Ugh. And then plates. I forget how they do their plates here. It looks like they do them as sets, so that's good. Four pieces, four pieces, nine pieces. But unfortunately, no good plates for us. Those are fun and kind of old. $4.99 each on those guys. Decorative plates, of course. Oh, what are these? Oh, no, those are plastic. And very, very dirty. And that's going to be it um, in the way of plates. So, nothing for us here. Let's check out the end cap. Nothing for us here either. And then what's this aisle? Plasticos. I don't think we're probably gonna pick up anything in plastics. Um, let's swing over to art. Okay, well, it does look like we've got a couple of fun things to see here in art. First, I'm gonna start with this, $2.99. Um, I was hoping it was a little better quality than that. It's just paper and that $2.99 sticker is right on the paper. So I think even using the blow dryer, you're probably going to wind up ruining it. This is just a little print. I thought maybe it was actually painted on there, but I don't think it is. Um, there's just not enough texture to it for it to be a real piece of art. And it's $6.99. $2.99 on that. Um, it is glass. It doesn't have its little chain anymore. I mean, it does have a big sticky yucky spot on the back, I think, that's now on my fingers, which is fabulous. I think I'm going to leave it behind. $4.99 on the mirror. Hi, guys. 
That is an old mirror made in Italy. Um, but I don't know. That's going to be hard to get off. Um, and it's got a big scratch. This is like super scratched. Okay, good. That made up my mind. That made my mind up easier. I like these copper plates. Six ninety nine on those. There's two of them. And uh, that's a little. It's a little steep. I can't pay fourteen dollars for those. They're worth about fourteen dollars. All right. Well, that was quick. What's this? That's interesting. It's kind of weird. I don't think it's supposed to do that with the like bubbles that are in it. It's, I think it. I think it got messed up. Oh, we do have some more art over here. Sorry, big wall in the way. That's a fun map. That's really fun. I like that with the metallic. It's thirteen. Thirteen ninety nine though, but I really like that. It's like an old map. Ugh. Oh, what's this down here? Oh, Honduras. Never mind. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's Lucy and Ricky. Huh? Somebody drew that January of two thousand and three. Nine ninety nine. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think that's it for art. We're not going to even try to dig through all of them. They've got a pretty extensive um, aisle, two aisles, of holiday. And I'm not going to dig through all of this. But I thought we'd swing through it really quick. And if something jumped out at us and said, Buy me! Take me home! Then, you know, we'd consider it. This little boo. He's cute. Six forty nine. Uh, Valentine's and Easter bunnies, wood bunnies, resin bunnies, cute. And then all of the holiday baggies, which again, we will leave right there. Swing around the corner, we've got some wreaths. That one would be good for 4th of July. Five forty nine dollars for that. That's a really good price. Cracker Barrel sells something like this during the 4th of July holiday. We don't have them this year. It's more of like a bow, um, but it's, you know, like $30. So five forty nine dollars is a good price for that. Here's Christmas baggies. Um, my God, that, that Christopher Radko glass. I don't know if that's actually who that is. It looks like it, though. That's going to get obliterated in a baggie. Good lord. I said we weren't going to dig through this, and we aren't going to dig through this. We need to keep moving. He's cute. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Oh, that's kind of fun. I like my little napkin holders and trivets. Five forty nine. dollars Still has a yucky candle there. Um, that's not terrible, but I think we're going to go ahead and leave it. It does have some age to it, though. If we found a fabulous Jim Shore piece or something like that, I think that would be something great for us. Or Fitz and Floyd. What's this? Made in China, five forty nine. This looks Jim Shorey, but it's not. It also looks like it's not broken, which is quite surprising, to be honest. But I think we're going to go ahead and leave him behind. Is that Fitz and Floyd? I don't know. I'm not in love with that either, though. It is Fitz and Floyd, though. How much is it? Four forty-nine. dollars Yeah. Again, Christmas is a ways away. And I've got a lot of other things on my plate before that happens, so... I don't think we need any Christmas. Two angels, two wise men, a Joseph and a Mary, but no Jesus. No, I have no words. I have no words. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do that. 
they do have jewelry here, which is nice because I love jewelry and they don't have jewelry at Goodwill anymore. Um, they did years ago, but not anymore. So it's nice to be able to kind of take a little quick spin and check out and see what sort of jewelry items they have. Although nothing really fabulous here. That's probably old, maybe Coro or um, maybe Avon. Um, but that's the only thing that's really fabulous. That's got some age to it. I'm not sure who makes it. Um, but the rest of these are meh. Nothing too fantastic. Same thing with the earrings. And then I kind of looked at the necklaces and there's nothing too wonderful here either. Nothing for us, so. But at least we got to look. Okay, well our total spend was $59.62. Admittedly, Savers is still more expensive than the Goodwill, but I think we found some fun deals today, and I'm surprised that we bought some things at Savers. So you know what? Maybe we'll be back. <laughs> Maybe we will put at least this Savers, we will put it into the rotation, and we'll check it out every once in a while and see what we can find. Um, I'm sorry about the view behind me. That's not very pleasant. Um, that used to be a bank, and now apparently it's going to be a an oil change place. Um, so yeah, that happened while we while well, we have not been up here. Um, I haven't been up this side of town in a minute, so surprised me. Thank you for joining me, as always. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Thank you for your likes, your comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm always trying to get new subscribers and people to get watching my channel and joining me on this fun, fantastic journey. Please check out my eBay store. If you haven't, I will be working tomorrow. I do have some plans tomorrow during the day, but I will be hopefully working tomorrow evening a little bit on getting some more things listed and throughout next week. Um, so thank you. Like I said, as always, that was pleasant um, for uh, for joining me. That's absolutely disgusting. Oh, some people. Um, anyways, have a wonderful time in your journeys and I will see you all later. Bye.